St. Vincent's Medical Center is focused on setting the standard for patient care. Joining us is Dr. Imran Siddiqui to explain how robotic surgery helps cancer patients. It's great to have you with us, Dr. Siddiqui. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Let's first talk about, in general, what is robotic surgery? So robotic surgery is um, using a robot to assist a surgeon in performing surgery. And this has been there uh, for the past 10 years. But every year we have a new iteration of the robot. And um, it's using advanced state-of-the-art technology to allow surgery to be performed through small incisions and allow patients to recover faster and go back to doing what they do best. Now you actually specialize, um, I believe, in liver and pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm. That's two of the toughest cancers to treat. How does robotic surgery help you do your job? So robotic surgery really allows us to imitate open surgery. Mm -hmm. And liver and pancreas surgery is pretty complex. It's considered to be the most complex surgery a patient can have <laughs> in their abdomen. And if you can actually offer improved surgical techniques, in my hands, I consider robotic surgery to be better than open surgery. Mm. And if patients can benefit from it, so it allows us to visualize tumors in a more distinct and clear fashion, it allows improved magnification. So if you're looking at a tumor, which is probably the size of a pinhead, mm -hmm. it magnifies it to the size of a golf ball. So the instruments which we use are so small and so miniaturized that it allows us to take out the tumor more precisely. And all this is done through small incisions so that when the patient wakes up, all they look at is an incision, the largest of which is the size of their thumb. So patients recover quicker. They are back to additional treatments like chemotherapy and radiation faster. And if the surgery can be performed safely, then patients are essentially back to carrying out activities like they did before they had surgery. How does my microwave ablation uh, work, factor into this? So at St. Vincent's, we've been trying to push the limits in terms of technology for cancer care. So robotic surgery is one aspect of it, and microwave ablation is another. So we use these microwave ablation needles. They're basically a long needle which we insert into the tumor, usually done in patients with liver cancer. And it uses just like the microwave which we use to heat up food at home, that microwave energy is delivered precisely at the tumor site and destroys the tumor completely. Incredible. And then patients are back home the next day. You also have a unique program for patients. Oh yeah, yeah, so it's called a prehabilitation program. So as cancer surgeons, especially if cancers of the liver, the pancreas, the stomach, the intestines, most patients present to us having lost a lot of weight, not really in the best condition physically, and then the diagnosis of cancer really hits them hard emotionally. So just taking them to the operating room and performing the operation is one aspect of taking care of them. Looking at their nutrition, looking at their psychosocial needs, looking at their emotional needs. We at St. Vincent's really focus on patient-driven or patient-centered care. A more holistic approach. A more holistic approach. And instead of addressing these issues after surgery, we've implemented a program where a patient comes in and is met with the group of subspecialists. So I meet with them as a surgeon, but then I have partners in care, the dietitian, a counselor, mm -hmm. a physical therapist, and they partner with them throughout the process. And this is data driven. So we aim to publish our first results sometime next year about patients who came to us before surgery. We optimized them physically, emotionally, and did robotics on them, and then we would like to see how well they did afterwards, and we'd like to use this as a program which other programs can follow. Dr. Siddiqui, thanks so much for sharing all this information. For you. more information, you can also go to stvincents.org.